Hey, Tang here, so welcome to the VRTech channel, the Oculus Quest 2 may receive a big update with a 120Hz refresh rate arriving soon, but what does it mean, what is the good part, what is the bad part? Well, let's discover it together in this video, let's get into it. All right, here we are. So it's not the first time when we talk about 120 Hertz refresh rate on the Oculus Quest 2. The first one to hint something about it was actually John Carmack. That he stated very early that the Oculus Quest 2 hardware was actually capable of 120 Hertz, but they didn't go through the certification. So it remained at 90 Hertz or 72 Hertz like they shipped it actually. Later last year, we got the update for 90 Hertz for the dashboard and some games that can support it. And with update, things got smoother, more comfortable and and not so long ago, we also had the update for Oculus Link, so you were able to play PC VR games on the Oculus Quest 2 through the cable, also at 90 Hz. I actually introduced it to 90 Hz before release, collaborating with Guy from Virtual Desktop. And well, you can find the video over here if you ch check it out and see how to do it also wireless. But yeah, of course, more Hz is better for many different ways, but also it strains the PC much more because it has to work on more frames than the regular 72 Hz that we had before. And now we got back a little on the rumor of 120 Hz because during a Q&A, Andrew Butts, the vice president of the Facebook Reality Lab, indicated that the Quest 2 is likely to be updated with a 120 Hz refresh rate. He actually didn't say it directly, but when asked the question, well, they responded with just a thumbs up. So, uh, well, that's pretty much a yes, I guess. Now, 120 Hz is fantastic. I'm using it constantly on the Valve Index, for example, everything feels like just so much better and smoother. And the other particular thing that is uh, very good uh, when playing with that refresh rate on, in VR is that it gives much less motion sickness. That is something that some people can get over it. But how are we gonna see the 120 Hertz arriving to the Oculus Quest 2? Well, uh, that is still uh, kind of a question because we don't know anything yet about the update. For sure it's gonna arrive like a software update, like it was 90 Hertz. Uh, before, uh, but it's really unlikely that many games are gonna be able to run at 120 Hz directly with the chipset, the XR2 on the Oculus Quest 2, because of course, if you use more frames that are almost double than the 72 Hz uh, that we have right now with most of the games, that means that, or you bring down the resolution like half of the target, or well, uh, there's so much strain, too much strain uh, for this chipset. Also more strain on the chipset means that it's gonna use more power and also it means that, well, the battery life is gonna be much less than what we have right now, because of course, we already have a minimal reduction from 72 Hertz to 90 Hertz in battery life and going to 120 Hertz, we can see probably something about half of battery life, apparently. But the good thing is like, if we talk about Oculus Link, well, having 120 Hertz for PC VR games, well, uh, that sounds very enticing. But at the same time, we have the same problem that we have uh, with the internal chipset. Let me explain. So not having a native uh, video outputs from the Oculus Quest 2, uh, what the XR2 is doing when we're playing with Link is actually decoding the encoded video feed that is arriving from the PC. So there's always a lot of strain from the headset part and for the PC part, because you don't just have to run the game, you also have to encode uh, the video feed to make it in a smaller package to be able to go through the bandwidth of a singular cable and then arrive to the um, headset and the headset has to decode this signal and to create again the image. That's why uh, playing with Link at lower bitrate, we see a lot of artifacts and stuff like that. But then you're having a point where you're really at the limit or of the bandwidth of the cable or of much uh, the XR2 can code. Now I'm showing as an example, the comparison of the latest update uh, for the Oculus Quest 2, when you got a better resolution bitrate with Link. The difference was mind blowing, of course. But as I said during the video, my PC was actually struggling a lot. And my PC has a i9 9900K and 2080 Ti was struggling to keep up with the encoding and playing the game at the same time. So that means that they had the worst frame rate and what I wanted, I had to bring down the resolution and the bitrate, of course. So, well, it wasn't really that 
playable. So just thinking about running everything 120 years kind of uh, raised my alarm bell because I don't really uh, know how they're gonna be able to do it in a smooth way we are doing that with Link, of course, playing our regular games. Now I can see this happening with games like Pistol Whip or like Beat Saber, where the solution is not that vital, but they're really gonna need to do something particular to make this possible. Another option would be to introduce the reprojection on the Oculus Quest 2. Now we don't know if the XR2 is capable of it. If you don't know about reprojections, pretty much doubling the frame rate, so using the same frame and moving the frame in base of, of course, the sensor that we have inside, so the 60 off sensor, and that means that the games are gonna actually run at 60 hertz and double in the frame rate to 120 hertz, and if the hardware supports it, uh, well, uh, you're gonna have a similar 120 hertz that is not really the same as a native one, but well, uh, it works in this way. But yeah, this is really kind of a mind speculation, so uh, don't take it as anything written down, something like that but it will be interesting for sure. So yeah, what do we have? In the good, it's gonna be smoother. Of course, it's gonna be easier for people to get in VR uh, because there's gonna give less motion sickness than what we have right now. But the good part pretty much finished there because then in the bad, we're gonna have a less battery life, for sure a lower resolution or a lower bitrate if we use Oculus Link connection. And you're gonna need a much more powerful PC to actually run Link games from the PC to the Oculus Quest 2. So uh, is it gonna create these uh, index key Killer, or it's gonna create this uh, PC VR killer? Well, probably not, uh, not really, because the clarity that we have with the display port is not gonna be the same. Uh, unless they make a very big miracle. So yeah, it's gonna be a great addition. I'm super excited for it. I kind of prefer to have a higher refresh rate than resolution, but it really depends on the proportion over there as well. But yeah, other than that, it's gonna be for sure fantastic and can't wait to see it coming to the Oculus Quest 2. Hopefully it's gonna be very, very soon, and I'm gonna keep you updated on when it's gonna arrive, of course, and we're gonna test it together. But anyway, guys, this was all. I wanted to make a little clarity on the 120 hertz arriving on the Oculus Quest 2, because sometimes the message gets amplified over and over, and people think like, oh, it's gonna be mind-blowing, but we have to keep down a little the expectation and keep it real, because, uh, yeah, it's gonna come with upsides, of course, and it's amazing, but it's gonna also come with big downside uh, in that case. But, hey, maybe a reprojection thing would work? Let's hope so. Anyway, guys, do you prefer a refresh rate or a resolution? Let me know in the comment below. And as always, if you like the video, like, please do. That really helps a lot. If you didn't like the video, please like. Subscribe to the channel for more about VR tech. And if you really love the channel, the join button down there. Little no further, also the Patreon with prior access to videos. Of course, thanks to all the Patreon to support the channel. And we also have the T-shirt Secret Mask 2020 item 2021, item number one. So check them out in the description below. And uh, again, that's all. Like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.